Hey guys, welcome to another episode of Jibber Jab Reviews, your best source for the hottest and newest watch faces for the Samsung Gear S3. In today's episode, I'm going to review a lineup of watch faces from DXB Watches. I'll show you how they perform in the light and the dark, and I'll also show you how you can find them through your Samsung Galaxy app. Okay, enough of that, let's go check them out. Okay, first up is the DXB Quattro. This is a classic analog layout look uh, with a light face that also displays your heart rate, your steps achieved, your battery life indicator, as well as the month and date. Now it also comes optimized with the always on display feature, which means even when the display dims, you'll still be able to see the time. Okay, next up is the DXB Speed, and this is a sports themed watch which basically has the look of a tachometer or a speedometer. Um, there is a digital display also in the center which indicates the date, and by tapping on the screen you can cycle through up to 10 different color tones. And like the previous watch, it also has that always on display feature. Next is the DXB Control. This is a digital and analog style watch which packs a ton of features. Let me just go through them here. You have access to the following. You can open your alarm, open your contacts list, open your phone. It shows your steps achieved, your heart rate, your battery charge indicator, the music player, the weather app, and the scheduler app. I mean, it has everything you could imagine. It's your fingertips here. In addition, you can also cycle through five different color backgrounds, and of course, it's also optimized for the always on feature. I mean, like, holy crap. If you like having access to a lot of features, then I would definitely recommend you check out this watch face. Okay, next up is the Enterprise, and as you can see by the graphics, this is a Star Trek themed watch face and will work either on the S2 or the S3. Now the watch has been optimized for use with the always on display. Now there isn't much in terms of additional features on this watch face and that's fine because the focus really is on the graphics and that mini little enterprise that you see on the second hand. Anyways, this is a nice looking piece and a must have for all the Trekkies out there. Okay, here is the Racing Sport 2 in a classic racing design uh, for either the S2 or the S3. This is an analog watch which has two dials and they show the steps target achieved as well as the battery status. The date is also visible in the 6 o'clock position and you can cycle through four different color backgrounds and like the previous watches it's also optimized for the always on display mode. Next is the Watchmaster MK1, and for those familiar with Omega, you'll probably notice some of the styling cues from the Speedmaster MK2 in here. Uh, features on this one include the date, month, steps achieved, and the battery power level. This one also works on the S2 or the S3, and like the other ones, has been optimized for the always-on display mode. Okay, here's another racing theme watch, and this is definitely one of my favorites. The features displayed here include the steps achieved, the month, and the battery status. There's also a short date window between the 4 and 5 o'clock position, and if you tap on the screen, you can also cycle through up to six different racing colors, although I think it looks best in the racing red. And as the previous watch faces, it also works on the S2 and S3, and it's been optimized for the always on display mode. This one is really cool. Okay, and the last thing I want to mention is if you want to check out the watch faces that I reviewed here, as well as the entire lineup, then simply do a search under DXB watches. There's a really good mix of free and paid watch faces in a variety of themes, uh, so you're more than likely to find something that you will like from them. 
And for more great news, the developer has generously provided me with five free coupon codes which can be used for any of his watch faces that you see here. To have a chance of winning the coupons, all you have to do is to like this video and leave a comment below. On February 28th this year, I'm going to randomly draw five people that have commented on this video and then I'll provide you with the coupon code. So get commenting and good luck. Okay guys, that's it for this episode. Thanks for watching and don't forget to like and comment on the video. I love to get your feedback and uh, share information with all of you, so keep them coming. And also remember to subscribe to the channel as more cool and informative videos will be coming soon. Until then, take care.